If you say, the most free country in the world is to be selected, it must be the Netherlands. Your taboo topics and your perceived bad habits, it will all be broken here. You can be very happy here. The openness of the Netherlands, even Carp Deem Americans are ashamed. The Netherlands was the first country in Europe to legalize prostitution Western and gay marriage. It has the largest red light district in the world and the National Museum of Sex. It was also the first country to have a prostitutes union. If you want to spy on one or two, then you must come to the largest red light district, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Open city and art palace. Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands. Inscribed in the world with an open sexual culture. According to statistics, Amsterdam. Every year, more than 40% of gay people get married. It's a gay paradise. The Chinese call it the capital. The British call it a sex city. The French call it the sex villa. Although religious laws vary from country to but country. no denying it. This is a city that is inextricably linked to sex. People of the world. I also travel because of the flames in my heart. Amsterdam has a world famous red light district. There are popular and inexpensive sex museums. But there are also more than 60 various art museums. It is also a temple of art. There's no contradiction between sex and art. Sex education in the Netherlands is the most advanced in the world. The Dutch government believes that sex should be open. And the epitome of their openness is the red light district. Dutch children start receiving sex education at the age of six. Parents will generously give their children in small talk. Explanatory question. Children know their sexual organs like they know their arms. Hand recognition is just as common. There's no mystery. The existence of the red light district it doesn't surprise or surprise the child. Talking about the openness of their There is such a festival in the local area. It's called Metro No Library. Every day. time this day comes, whether it is a man or a woman, I'm just walking around in my underwear. It's not because of the hot weather. But the subway has no library day. A festival has. in the Netherlands. It preaches the liberation of the individual, the men and women involved, to get into the festive atmosphere. During the ride on the subway, only travel in a pair of underwear. When Chinese tourists enter the Dutch subway, you will find local young people with bare thighs. Perhaps in the eyes of the Chinese, this move is insulting to Sven, but in the eyes of the Dutch, this phenomenon is still a matter for Sikong Jian. It is worth mentioning that Metro No Library Day is not a Dutch holiday. They're modern festivals imported from America. It is said that the first Dutch subway had no library, day. attracted thousands of young Dutch people to join. With the number of years that the Netherlands has hosted this festival, Homely. it attracts many young people to join every year. There are also the elderly. I can see the overall social atmosphere in the Netherlands. Very liberal. You know, Subway No Warehouse Day was introduced by our country, but it died when the first session was held. Destined that our country cannot truly integrate into the Western festival. In such a sexual concept, such an open country, its sex crime rate is well below the European average. And married pregnancy rate among teenage girls in the Netherlands it is the lowest in Europe. In the Netherlands, sex workers are unlike in other countries. Discrimination and humiliation. The Netherlands respects everyone, a woman or man who works for happiness. Sex workers in the Netherlands pay tax number and work permit like any other job. They are taxed. So after retirement, the government pays pensions. In the red light district center, the Dutch government also erected a statue of them. This is a tribute to sex workers around the world. The window girl is a unique sight in the red light district of the Netherlands. You are in another country. You can't see this kind of open solicitation. Nice way. It will also be displayed in lines of stationery you've never heard of and sex shows. 
you can't arbitrarily define it as because of. Because in the Netherlands, these are ordinary things like milk bread. There are a lot of tourists from other countries. Before coming to the red light district in the Netherlands, how obscure the red light district is. Mysterious place. And when you really kiss, come to Amsterdam's red light district. You will find, just like you usually browse designer shops in Paris. But the difference is, the window here shows not LV. Bag and high heels in glass windows one by one, displaying a variety of provocative poses and eyes. The Barbie girls. They wore exaggerated and elaborate makeup by grace and sweetness. There are all kinds of girls from cold to handsome. Looks tempting. It feels commoditized. They pay the price. Children are not deceived. And here's the interesting thing. Some smart bookers. As long as you see tourists with yellow skin and black hair. And yell at them King Mister. Or mystery. Because they learned that Wang Li was a large Chinese company. And smarter girls. Will be very real to you shouting tiptoe invoice. It means that an invoice can be issued after consumption. It seems that many Chinese people are going to the flames. Except for the red light district. The Netherlands also has many sex museums. The most famous book is the Temple of Venus. It was founded in 1985, the world's first museum dedicated to letters. The atmosphere of the museum is cultural and artistic. Tourists are also serious. Take an objective attitude to The facade of the museum is very small, just a wooden door. If it weren't for the word Sax Musel at the head of the door, even knowing the location, you might accidentally miss it. The entrance and exit are all in one place. The conductor is not of high quality and sells tickets to tourists. The price is not expensive, just a few euros. Then when entering the interior of the museum, it feels like I'm in another world. The size of the entire sex museum is not a total large. of about 10 different themes. Exhibition hall like layout. Then it is divided into two floors upstairs and downstairs. The space on the first floor is relatively so small. So there's not a lot on display. Most, it's all about introduction and frontier. But when you go up to the second floor, the world has been sublimated again. From simple black and white pictures to color photos, to a variety of large, medium, and small sculptures, all kinds of bionic props, everything. Meticulous. I really can only say that only you can't imagine it, nothing you can't see. Because the exhibition halls are divided into smaller ones, although the space one. is not large, it can even be crowded when there are many people. But because basically everything they're all different styles, so visit inside. You almost never get bored or tired every time you enter a new exhibition hall. Basically, all kinds of chen in it will be set to attract the past. Stop and watch in the museum. From time to time, I can hear people talking to Even each other. Even the sound of amazement and admiration. The streets of Amsterdam are crowded and diverse. People of different skin colors dress differently. Tourists and locals, beggars and entertainers, giants more than two meters tall mix with such as, but they all look the same. Hustle and orderly, crowds in the streets. There is a strong market atmosphere everywhere. Information. Amsterdam is more like a city of small citizens. People in this city are in a hurry, no matter what. They all look calm and natural. You don't look weird. Amsterdam. There seems to be room for the weird and the different. Sitting on the bus. Passing by countless gay people. Dressed strangely. Gorgeous parade. You wave and like. And they were so excited and yelled back. Lots of warm people on the streets. You could say, Amsterdam, it's like a human experimentation ground, testing the bottom line of people's moral tolerance. But, and it turned out that it was okay. Amsterdam may be a big dive at. His colors may be too mottled and complex, but here can 
It's not the most dangerous place in the world, although there are so many. It may be considered dangerous in other places, immoral or even illegal behavior. In fact, except for the girl from the wild geese, Amsterdam the also district. has quiet, light rivers, an elegant building full of artistic atmosphere. The whole of Amsterdam is like a great Venice, filled with rivers and rivers, various arch bridges, gentle light. People go in and out of museums, sipping coffee in silence, and I rode my bike around and focus on painting in the corner of the street. Handsome guy sketching. Tiger in the heart, sinew rose, it's crazy. I've never been an ant and a beauty. Appearance is only used to confuse some people who are already lost in life. And the essence here, than anywhere else in the world, come more frankly and truthfully.